Hey guys, it's Christy and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I am so excited because I just received the new Pat McGrath Divine Blush Legendary Glow Balm in the shade Divine Rose and the new Lux Eyeshadow Quad in Passion Fleur. And we're going to be playing with both of these today. So before we get into it, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel before you leave. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy and let's get into it. So I believe there are seven different shades of the new Legendary Glow Color Bomb. So these are blush sticks. There is the Passion Fleur Eyeshadow Quad, which we have here as well. There is also the Skin Fetish Highlighter and Balm Duo. So I did not pick up the Duo. I just didn't think I would get enough use out of it. But let's start with the blush balm before we get into the quad. I'll be honest, I'm most excited about the quad. So the blush sticks just come in this really beautiful box here. They retail for $29 US or $40 Canadian. There are seven shades available. I picked up the shade Divine Rose. There was a bundle with the quad and the Divine Rose blush stick. That is why I chose this shade. Otherwise, I probably would have gone for one of the more peachier sticks, but since these two were paired together and it was a better price, I went with this. So this is what the actual stick looks like. This has a 36 month shelf life. This is made in Italy and you get seven grams of product. So I will say this does feel very, very lightweight. It does, it is basically just a plastic packaging. I did think it would feel a lot heavier from Pat McGrath given that all of her other components are that heavy acrylic packaging. This is very lightweight. So taking off the lid, you just twist up and let's look at a quick swatch. And again, this is Divine Rose. That looks like such a beautiful, beautiful shade. And I'm noticing it's kind of sheer. So I do just have foundation and concealer on right now. I have figured out that I don't like applying product directly to the face from the stick. I find it makes things so much harder to blend out. I think I'm gonna start with a brush and I'm gonna just take the BK Beauty 106 and I'm gonna take that directly off the stick. Just tap into the cheeks. That's a really pretty shade actually. I did take quite a lot on the brush on that one, but I do think it's a very sheer formula so it kind of works out. Let me see how it works with a finger. So aside from shimmer eyeshadows, I absolutely hate doing makeup with a finger. And that's just taking me far too long to blend. Let's try applying it to the face and then blending with a brush. Mm. Okay, yeah. I liked it a lot more when I just went in with the brush. Um, let's take a little bit on a sponge. Okay, that worked pretty well too. That also worked pretty well. I do feel like the sponge definitely sheared it out more than the brush. So compared to trying it three different ways, I definitely like the brush the best. I felt like my finger, it was just, it just really didn't seem to blend too well with my fingers. I also don't have patience for blending my makeup that way. The sponge definitely sheared it out a little bit too much, so if you're looking for a lot of pigment, I do think the brush is the way to go. But I do like this. I think this shade is really, really nice. Again, I wish the packaging was a little bit heavier, but at the same time, it is really, really pretty. I think I like the blush stick so far. Let's take a look at the part I'm most excited for, which is the quad. So this is the Passion Fleur Quad. This has a 12 month shelf life and it says it's made in the US of US and imported ingredients. Right away, what I love about this quad is that it's still in that same heavy acrylic packaging, but it's pink. I love that. I do love her black acrylic, but it is kind of nice when it's in pink once in a while. Again, this does just have four shades. I like that this stays open and you get one matte and then three shimmers. Let's take a look at some swatches. So the matte shade, which is Plum Nocturne, that swatched so well. I was not expecting that much pigment. Sometimes these really dark shades really don't swatch that well. And I feel like I've also been playing with eyeshadows that don't swatch well lately. They look beautiful in the eyes but don't swatch very well. I was not expecting that. The next shade is Skin Show Pink 
Dawn. And this is reminding me of a shade in another one of her palettes. So we'll look at some comparisons after. But that is Skin Show Pink Dawn. Then we have Rose Fire Glow. Very, very pretty. And the final shade is Sienna Moonlight. And this one is going to be very, very shimmery. Yeah, that one's beautiful. Very, very pretty. All right, so I did just prime my eyes with the Alter Ego eyeshadow base that they sent over recently. And then I just set it down with my Dior Powder No Powder. So I was going to try to do multiple looks, but I think given that it's only four shades, I can just create one cohesive look and try out all of the shades. I'm just going to take the Plum Nocturne shade and I'm going to put this one on the outer corner and I'm going to buff it into the crease but very very lightly. I really just want most of that pigment on the outer corner. I do have some palettes to compare this to after. I'm feeling like this purple is a little bit patchy. It swatched really really well but it's a little bit patchy for me and I don't think it's the base because I I've used this base before and I haven't had an issue okay I think that's the best I'm gonna get for that side I don't know if I went in with too much too soon but I don't know I just felt like that was being very very patchy so I'm definitely thinking that I was the problem on my other eye the trick with really deep shades is you really just don't want to go in with too much too soon. And I think that's exactly what I did. I think I was too excited and I just piled it on there and got mad when it wouldn't blend. That's one of those things I think I did. I know better, but it happens because this eye is going a lot better. I also don't really tend to play with really deep shades like this. Normally I would start with a really light transition. In this case I've only got the one. I think I'm going to take the shade Rose Fire Glow on a finger and I think I'm going to tap this one on the center of the lid. And that's really pretty. I'm putting this one down because this one seems the most sheer and I'm not going to mind if I end up covering it up. So because it is so sheer, I do want to try something. I do have Pat McGrath's Intensifies Artistry Wand, so I do want to try that on the other eye. I've used this a few times and I, I do like it. I'm just pushing that onto the lid. So then also taking Rose Fire Glow on this side on a finger, but I'll show you. Yeah, you can see how much more intense this shade is just the shine is so much better. So I noticed when I put Rose Fire Glow, when I started to layer it over the purple, it turned into this really cool fuchsia shade. So now that I've seen that effect, I understand why the two of them are in here together. That actually made a really cool effect that I was not expecting, but I will say the artistry wand really did help amp up the shine. Okay, I think I'm gonna go in to Pink Dawn right here. This I'm going to use on the inner corner. Okay. Ooh. Okay, I think that makes a really nice gradient. I'm loving the effect that that pink shade has on the inner corner. I really do think that's pretty. And I just kind of brought that up to sort of meet in the middle a little bit. <sighs> and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Sienna Moonlight I think I really want to take this one on a finger and press it all over the center of the lid. Okay, we're getting fallout, but it's really, really pretty. So we completely lost the Rose Fire Glow shade, but this is really, really pretty. Okay, let me pop off camera. I'll finish the rest of my makeup and I'll be back with my final thoughts and a couple of comparisons. So here is the final look with mascara. I like it better now that I've got mascara on. However, on a normal day, I probably would not have used every single shade in the palette. But overall, I think this pink shade is absolutely beautiful and I can actually see myself just wearing that one all over the lid. Uh, this shade also incredibly, incredibly beautiful. Very, very sparkly, has a lot of fallout. So I would recommend doing your eyes first when you're using this shade in particular. 
This shade is really pretty and I definitely want to play with it a little bit more just to see what it can really do. I noticed when I was kind of getting toward the outer corner and starting to layer it over the purple, it started to have a shift and now I need to know what it does all over. So I'm going to try just these two together and see what happens. I think I would really, really like that. I really liked when I put this pink on the inner corner, but then once I added in this gold sparkle, it was just too much. The purple that I thought was really, really patchy, I think was completely my own error. I think I was just too excited and I went in with too much too soon. I know better. I did it anyway, and I think that's what happened. It did swatch beautifully. This is an incredibly, incredibly pigmented purple. I would prefer if she would put two mattes in here instead of three shimmers. I just think it's a lot more intuitive uh, when that happens. So I would have preferred another matte as opposed to all three shimmers and then trying to figure it out from there. However, I do still think it's a really beautiful palette. I'll still really enjoy it and get a lot of use out of it. So let's talk really quickly about some comparisons. The first palette that came to mind from Pat McGrath is the Rose Decadence palette. So this is no longer available, but looking at these two side by side, you can see a lot of similarities, a lot. So I'll pop up a photo of the swatches and you can see that they ended up being fairly similar, not quite identical. I think this palette is probably expired by now. The matte is very very dry this purple here swatch very very dry whereas this one was buttery smooth so i do think that maybe this palette is time to retire the shimmers were similar enough that i do think if you have this you're going to be able to create a very similar look i really wouldn't see the value in picking up the quad as well i do think the quad is better quality however this is pretty old but I do think they're similar enough. I did look at some of my other Pat McGrath palettes as well and didn't see enough similarities, but one that also called to me was the Natasha Denona Love Palette. So you can see definitely some similarities there as well. I'll pop up the swatches on this one. So again, not identical, but I do think you could accomplish somewhat of a similar look on the eyes. And I do think with Natasha's palette, because you have so many more options, it really ends up making more sense. I think you can totally create a very similar look as this one, but also you have a lot more mattes to work with. So it may be just a lot easier, a little more user friendly. So I do think if you have the Love palette from Natasha Denona, uh, I would probably pass on this one. They're not identical, like I said, but I think they're similar enough that you would not need both. But overall, I really do think this is a beautiful quad if you're wanting to pick it up. I don't think you'd be disappointed. So overall, I think the quad is great. I think I forgot to mention that it does retail for $62 US or $80 for Canadian. Do I recommend anybody spend that on an eyeshadow quad now? But if you're somebody who does tend to collect Pat McGrath palettes and quads and you are wanting this one, I don't think you'd be disappointed. I think it is really nice. I just, again, wish there was at least another matte in here or something to kind of help ground it out other than just this super deep purple. But that's just my thoughts. I just think that would have helped a little bit. I do like that she did her blush packaging in the matching pink to the little quad here. It just looks pretty. I don't love that the packaging feels cheap, but at the same time, these retail for $29, which is cheap for Pat McGrath, so maybe that's kind of where we even it out a little bit. I think the brush did the best job when it came to applying the product. I found the sponge sheared it out a little bit too much, whereas the brush applied the product and got it blended out really nicely, but didn't get rid of any pigment. When I went in with a finger, I just don't have patience to do that, but I found it was taking a lot longer as well, so I wouldn't recommend that. I would absolutely recommend using a brush. I would also recommend um, just taking the brush onto the product as opposed to applying directly to the face because doing that can make the product harder to blend out as well. Overall, I think this is a beautiful collection. I love that she did everything in pink. It's my favorite color. I think the blush stick is a really great quality. I'm definitely going to continue testing it out. Again, I want to test out this eyeshadow quad. I want to create a lot more looks with it so that I can really see what it can do. But today I really just wanted to try all of the shades so I could 
address all of them and speak to all of them for you. I think it's beautiful. I think again, if you're a huge Pat McGrath fan, then you wouldn't be disappointed. If you are interested in this quad, wait for one of her sales. She does so many sales throughout the year and often enough you can get up to 30%. So I would absolutely recommend waiting for that 30% off because it will knock a huge chunk off of that steep price tag. But that is it for me today. Thank you so very much for watching. Let me know down below if you're planning to pick up anything from this collection. I love hearing from you guys so, so much. So if you're new here, I hope you'll consider subscribing before you go. I do upload at least three new videos every single week. Thank you again so very much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye!